Hi YouTube, so today is a bonus. Um, I am doing um, Erin at Scandalous Beauty's 30 day um, video YouTube challenge and I was a day behind but I think I'm going to catch up today. So I've recorded two videos. So this is counting as my day 8 video and also because it's July 8th it'll help me keep up with what day is what day in the challenge out of the 30 days. So um, I'm also doing this video as kind of a video response to Yummy411 who is also doing Erin at Scandalous Beauty's challenge and her her last video was the top five must-have accessories. So I thought I would do that really quickly and then on top of that part of what I've been doing in my 30-day uh, challenge are a series of top five in fives meaning top five things that I can talk about in five minutes so there's actually going to be two lists here but the first list is in response to yummy 411 so there are five must-have accessories that I feel very strange if I leave the house without them and they're really simple one a pair of earrings if I forget to wear earrings even if my hair is covering my ears, I just don't feel right if my earrings are not there, if I've forgotten my earrings. I can go without a necklace, but something about going without earrings. The other accessory is my watch, which was also on Yummy 411's list. The funny thing about watches is I very rarely look to see what time it is. But yet, if I don't have that watch on my wrist, I feel very strange. I feel very out of, out of sync um, with what's going on. The third accessory is a bracelet. I always felt very naked if I don't have a bracelet on my right wrist. If I forget it, it just doesn't feel right. And it's been like that probably since I was a little kid when I had my little silver bangles that my mother brought me. And the same thing goes for a ring on my right finger. I always have my wedding rings on. But having a ring on my right finger, it just doesn't feel right. If I've left the house without a ring on, I will immediately take off my engagement ring and put it on my right hand just to say that I have a ring on my right hand. Don't it's one of those weird things and I'm willing to share it with you my YouTube family um, and the last uh, thing that I cannot leave home without um, one putting it on and two actually having it on me is some kind of lip balm and usually I use um, what I've actually started using recently is Kors uh, Guava Lip Butter which is really really nice um, it's clear but actually it is a little pasty if I don't put it on correctly but I really love this so I have one at work I have one at home I have one in my purse um, if I don't have that then I use whatever moisture therapy or I also use um, I think it's Blistex uh, moisture therapy I, I don't even remember I haven't used that one in so long because once I bought the lip butter um, this is about ten dollars um, on beauty.com or sephora.com it's well worth it and it lasts a long time so yummy 411 those are my five accessories so now I'm going into my top five and five and it will not take me five minutes to do this <laughs> but these are my five and I really had to go through I like my makeup but it was hard to find five things that I really felt were so important to me because to me makeup is a whole package so it's not that I couldn't narrow it down but I couldn't think of the five things that I really really liked so finally I narrowed it down to these five things the first thing of course <laughs> is my Kors lip butter Now I don't have all these products with me but um, you've seen them in my other videos and uh, I'll try on my blog post to put a link check out my blog calandrabranch.wordpress.com I have all the details of things that I've uh, listed in my videos so the first beauty product that I can't live without is my lip butter or whatever lip balm that I use um, whatever you use to prep and prime your lips to make sure that they're soft no matter what you have on it you need to have something on naked lips the second thing is actually a relatively new product. I just started using it a few months ago, but I've been talking about it in all my videos. Is Estee Lauder's Double Wear Light Foundation. I've always been a MAC foundation person and never thought I would use anything else. But once I found the Estee Lauder Liquid Foundation, I fell in love. It's Double, double Wear Light Foundation. I'm Intensity 6. And I, I got it one day at the counter, you know, I bought some perfume and they were doing the free um, facial evaluations. I didn't think that I would like it. I didn't think I'd find a color that I liked. I found the color that I liked and I actually love it. 
it's a small tube, but you really don't need that much. And actually, I also have been using it lately um, with my moisturizer to do a tinted moisturizer. Check out my my blog for day six, where I talked about how I mix um, my own tinted moisturizer. Thanks to Erin at Scandalous Beauty for that tip. The third thing is voluminous mascara. Um, I love L'Oreal Mascara. Um, uh, L'Oreal Voluminous is the best line that's worked for me for years and years and years. I use the pink and green tube, the, the Maybelline, which is fine. But when I found L'Oreal, it was so much better. I don't use all of their line because a couple of them are a little clumpy for me. But I do like the Voluminous line. And on a side note, I did go back to Maybelline and try the Falsies Mascara. And I actually like that one too. Um... The next item is NARS Blush in Albatross. Oh. Actually, another uh, YouTube guru, uh, Divine Diva, actually just talked about how this was her favorite blush. This is not my favorite blush, but it's, my, it's one of my favorite products. Albatross is this white blush when you look at it in the pan. But when you put it on, it's like the sheer iridescent golden tone. It's like, I call it my magic powder because you would never think that such a strange looking blush would have such a beautiful skin effect. And I use it actually as a highlighter on my upper cheek, especially if I use a darker, um, a darker blush. But actually what I also found is that if you use a darker blush, you could actually layer the albatross over it and it'll give that same blush a nice uh, golden shimmer to it. So NARS Albatross is like this magic powder for me. That's my fairy dust. And finally, this is a strange beauty product, but it's not really a product at all. But my fifth favorite beauty product is YouTube. Because YouTube, uh, in addition to going to makeup counters, YouTube has been such a great resource for application, for products. I can get reviews on any product that I want. There are gurus that I am attached to that, you know, if, if there's a product that I want to try, I immediately go to those gurus and see if they've tried it, see if they've reviewed it. Um, and also, I've just been able to pick up so much information from my YouTube gurus. And I did, I think that was my day one video, was actually my top five um, YouTube gurus. So check that video out if you want to know. But I think that, that YouTube is one of the greatest beauty accessories that any girl could have. So I hope you enjoyed my day seven, day eight video. <laughs> that I'm posting on what might have been day seven. It's it's all messed up now. All I know is I'm going to try very hard to get through 30 videos in the month of July to shake things up on YouTube. Thanks to all of my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, just hit the subscribe button and you take care. Bye YouTube.